Okay, so this is a quick look uh, back at this power box generator thing that I made a few days ago. Um, I've had a couple of comments now and people wanting to have a look inside, so I thought I'll uh, do a video just showing the inside. So it's only going to be a very quick video, this. Um, I managed to get four bolts and nuts uh, to hold this into place. This is actually um, it's a part of a sandwich box, uh, sandwich box, part of a chopping board, um, which I've got for two pounds. It's basically one of these like little plastic things. Uh, it was a little bit larger than this, a little bit larger, um, but I've cut it down to size and uh, it makes a really good surface to, uh, to be mounting things on. It cuts really easily and I just use an ordinary wood saw to cut it and then just used a file just to smooth it off and get it straight and smooth. So really pleased with that. Um, so the nuts, which are only on finger tight, because that's all it needs to be honest. It doesn't, they, these don't need to be tight um, because there's no real weight or pressure on them. So um, just four of these. They're a little bit fiddly if your hands were going to be really cold and uh, you couldn't move your fingers much. But generally, the amount of times you need to get underneath here anyway is very limited. In fact, the only time you'd need to get inside this box underneath this tray is if you used to have a problem with a fuse that's popped um, or some other underlying issue where a repair was needed. Other than that, you wouldn't really need to be lifting this up anyway. So I've undone the four nuts. So to pull this up now, we just literally pull it up like so. Now it looks a mess and it looks probably a lot worse than it is. But trust me, um, this is just a little bag of spare fuses that I keep in there. A combination of 20, 25 and 30 amp fuses in here at the moment. But this is it. So we've got the, uh, the 240 volt socket there, which I just put some glue, melted glue around the edge just to uh, keep that into place. Um, I've kind of colour coordinated things. So things that go straight directly to the battery, like this one here. This is for, um, what's this for? Oh, this is for the charge, isn't it? This will be marked in purple. Um, the other one, the 240, is marked up in orange. Um, and things have just got these little inline fuses, as you can see in there. Two batteries, uh, the nine amp hour each. So in parallel, they uh, add up to 18 amp hours. So it's not a bad, not a bad uh, power supply really to have. Um, what I've done is obviously for parallel you wire positive to positive, negative to negative. So when you're taking a load off these batteries, you don't take the positive and the negative off the same battery. You're supposed to take the negative of one battery and the positive of the other and that way the current gets evenly distributed through both batteries. Likewise, when you're charging up, uh, you don't charge just one battery, you'll use the negative one battery and the positive from the other battery. So you're spreading it over nice and evenly. So that's the way I've done it. So any supplies that I've taken from this battery um, are basically spread over. So the um, cigarette lighters um, and the USB at the top, that doesn't go straight to the battery that goes straight to the, uh, the output, the load on the solar panel controller, the charger controller. Um, these here, looks a little bit messy. You've got uh, two sets of uh, Anderson power poles coming out there. They go straight through to this connector block. The connector block then goes to um, a 20 amp fuse, which then goes directly to the battery. So these are the lives that I was telling you about, or the permanent supplies I was telling you about earlier on uh, in the last video, which are always connected. So they go straight through to the battery via a fuse. So regardless of what's happening with this charge controller and anything else plugged in, they'll always be able to take a nice power supply uh, from inside. Um, if I'm going to use a lead acid battery charger rather than the solar panel for this, then obviously that's where I'll plug it into because that goes, again, straight through to the battery. And then at the bottom, trying to show you a bit clearer there, you can see the inside where I've got my uh, DC to AC power inverter. Again, it's got its own separate fuse on there. 
bit shocked when I got this uh, home and looked at the wiring and the plug that came with it and there was no fuse. So, uh, so that's all fuse protected now. So yeah, basically that's it. Um, it does look a bit messy. I've left quite a bit of uh, sort of slack on these wires because I wanted to make it easily sort of accessible. So if I needed to pull this away to do any repairs, you know, hang thing, you know having things hanging down from, uh, from wires, it's all sort of long enough to rest this onto a desktop to work inside. So there you go, that's that. So I uh, hope that's uh, helped. Um, as always, comments and any thoughts and suggestions are uh, massively appreciated. Please do drop a comment below, give me a like or a dislike if that's the way you feel about it. That's absolutely fine as well. Um, another thing is I, I did ask the question on the last video about charging this device up from a car. So if I was to plug this plug here, which is the solar panel um, uh, socket, if I was to plug this into a cigarette lighter plug and into the car, would this device charge? Well, I've tried it, and yes, straight away, once this was powered up, it showed me a, a nice input of 4 amps, uh, and it was a steady 4 amps uh, going into this uh, until the battery was pretty much charged. Um, and then it just um, kind of uh, flickered around 100 milliamps and flicked on and off several times. Uh, obviously, it's just testing itself out there, checking uh, for the charge. So that's that. Um, I'm just wondering, actually, whether I can demonstrate that if I've got um, a lead here. I haven't. Never mind, not to worry. Um, I was going to just plug in another battery into here just to show you, but uh, I can't find one at hand at the moment. But anyway, there you go. So I hope that's uh, answered some of your questions. Hope that's helped. Um, any more questions, anything else you want to know, please don't hesitate. Uh, just drop me a message, ask me, and I'll help any way I can. Okay, leave that down. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.